Lama, Qatar is not exactly famous for a powerful civil society. What is you and your colleagues doing here? Well, the Arab Youth Climate Movement was a movement and a network that was actually launched about three months ago, and the idea behind it is to actually create the civil society throughout the Arab world. A lot of countries throughout the region, where it be Egypt or Lebanon, have already had a bit of a st strong civil society network, especially when it comes to climate and environmental movements. But certain other countries, when it comes to GCC, and especially Qatar and Saudi Arabia, have maybe not have had that liberty to have that as of yet. So the Arab Youth Climate Movement, what it's doing is it's actually creating this network where it can actually get civil society from all over the entire Arab world, including GCC, to take part in this COP so that they can actually have a very strong uh, voice in these negotiations as well. Is there already a strong envir environmental movement in the Arab world right now? There's a very strong um, movement per se. I mean, the environmental movement is pre-Arab Spring. I mean, you'd have to distinguish between pre-Arab Spring and then post-Arab Spring. Pre-Arab Spring, I guess the civil society movement as a whole was um, maybe uh, slightly diminished or maybe not as, it didn't cease to exist as much as it, as it is today. Since the Arab Spring, people have become empowered. Civil society in the Arab world have become empowered, and, and the voice of, these, of the civil society is all over the Arab world. So that being said, the environmental movement has definitely resonated. And of course, the fact that this year, the COP, being in Qatar, is a very, very powerful message to um, a lot of the civil society organizations and the environmental movement as a whole, and that we really want to have strong leadership coming out of the Arab region here in Qatar, as this COP really is an Arab COP at the end of the day, so we can really make it something successful that Arab leaders can walk out saying that we've done something, we've achieved something and taken initiative. And that's what we're here at Civil Society trying to do, is to put pressure on them to take that initiative and really make a difference here at this COP. Thank you very much. Thank you.